Okay, what is up, LEGO Harry Potter 2020 fans? Yesterday, the LEGO Harry Potter 2020 Diagon Alley shops were revealed. So, the first one um, is going to be the Leaky Cauldron. So, let's check it out right now. So, I just think the Leaky Cauldron is going to be really good. Um, just going to be, like, pretty cool. And I really can't wait to see what they do for the inside. So this is a quick image of the inside. So um, this may this is um, from the third year, and they may um, make it this way, but I believe it's from the second year because of that hair we, we saw. But to have like those pictures up there and the like tables and just like a few like random people would just be really nice for a Diagon Alley. So let's check out the next shop right now. So the next shop is Scribbleless. It's the ink shop. And I think this is going to be pretty cool. That thing in the window there, um, I hope they do that because that will look really good. So let's check out the next shop. The next one is Borgen in Burks, but it's actually not in Diagon Alley. It's in Nocturne Alley. Um, and I hope we get a few Death Eaters in it. Um, and I just can't wait to see what they do for this because they are remaking it because in the old Diagon Alley set they also had it so I think this will be pretty cool so yeah let's check out the next shop so the next shop is Flourish and Blots and I'm really looking forward to getting this we got in the mini Diagon Alley but and um I'm pretty sure we got it in the old one but I think if they remake it, it's going to look a lot better. And I just really hope we get this again. It's going to be really cool. Let's check out the next shop. The next shop is Quality Quidditch Supplies. I think we're going to get a few broomsticks and other cool Quidditch stuff in here, which is going to be really cool. So let's check out the next shop. And it's probably going to be my favorite and probably all of your favorites. So let's check it out. So here it is. It's Weezy Wizard Weezes. If they do the interior of this, it's going to be so good. Um, it's going to be so colorful. It's just going to be really, really cool. Um, I can't wait to see this um, in Lego form. So, if they're going to actually make these all, like, accurate size for minifigures, it's going to be a pretty expensive set. So, well, anyway, let's just check the next shop out. So, the next is Ollivanders. This is not surprising because, like, it's going to be, like, in it. Like, it's a remake, but it's going to be really cool. I can't wait to see how they do the interior of this. This is going to be really cool. Maybe we'll get another Ollivander even. Um, but um, I really can't wait to see what they do for, like, the boxes of the... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, the wands, right, um, like, maybe if they make, like, a new piece that can, like, pop open and a wand can go inside it, that would be really, really cool, so this is just gonna be really cool. Let's check out the next shop right now. The next is the Daily Profit, um, head office, and I hope we get Rita Skeeter, I'm gonna show you a picture of her at the end, but this is going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what they do. I'm not sure we actually see the interior in the movies at all. So if we um, get it, I can't wait to see what Lego will do. So let's check out the next shop. Next, we have Florian Portescu's Ice Cream Parlor. Um, this is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to see what they do for the inside of this. And it's just going to be really cool. So let's check out some minifigures. I'm hoping that will come with this set right now. So, I hope that Skeeter comes with it. Um, if we do get her, it will be nice because we did not get her in the CMF Series 2, unfortunately. And I also hope we get Gilderoy Lockhart to go with the um, Flourish and Blots. That would be pretty nice. We know we're already getting two other minifigures, Harry and that other um, person. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.